today we have for you something we think is pretty special. It's a 2007 Mercedes-Benz GL500. So it's a four-wheel drive as you can see. This car has been meticulously looked after. Looks like it's a one owner from new. It's black with black interior. And being a 500, it comes with absolutely everything and more. So this car benefits from keyless entry and keyless go, a reverse camera, navigation. It's got parking sensors front and rear. It's got Bluetooth connectivity. You can even raise and lower the suspension if you do want to use it off-road. Another good thing to have when you're going off-road is centre and rear diff locks. So whether you're looking for something for driving around town with the family, or if you did want something that you did want to take off-road, you can't go past one of these. Or if you're looking for a tow vehicle if you've got a boat, something like this would be absolutely fantastic. And it's built as solid as a Mercedes. It's got the it's a 500, and it's actually got the new 5.4 liter V8, which was a significant improvement on the previous model, paired with the Mercedes Benz seven-speed gearbox. Another option which came with this car was DVD players in the back. This car is a seven-seater. Not only has it got a sunroof in the front there. It's got a sunroof in the back also. It's a fixed roof, but you can open and close a blind if need be. It also has rear air conditioning, and the list goes on. This car is running on near new Michelin tyres. It's got brand new brakes. In fact, there's a receipt, there's a recent receipt um, in the glove box for the car where they spent between ten and eleven thousand dollars on a major major service so this is a car we would suggest that needs nothing to spend you can just drive it and enjoy it as I mentioned it does have the reverse camera and the parking sensors it's good to have both it's got an electric tailgate as you can see even these back seats if you want to fold them down for extra space Simply at the click of a button here, you just press this, the seats fold down. Very, very clever. These were seriously expensive cars when they were new, which is probably why there's not very many around. There are several more diesels than there are 500 petrols. So if you're buying one of these, possibly one of the most important things is to make sure it's got a very good service history, which this car does. Even the wheels are in good condition. Generally these family cars have lots of gutter rash on the alloy wheels because they've just been driven around the city. Yeah, it's just absolutely gorgeous. And a good thing about this, this particular V8 is that it sounds like a V8. Generally with, with comparable cars like your Lexus LX470 and LX570, unfortunately, you know, despite the fact they've got big V8s, you can't hear anything from the V8 at all whatsoever. It's got memory electric seats, drivers and passenger side. It's got air conditioned seats, heated seats, climate control and the list goes on. It's even got a, a leather dash. If you look closely you can see the stitching. Let's have a quick look at the logbook. There's some receipts there we can have a look at. So here's the book. The car's done just over 105,000 kilometres. It was last serviced at 104,000 kilometres, and that was a major, major service. Before that, it went to a Mercedes Benz specialist at 90, so it was 104, 96. The service before that it was Mercedes at 88. Before that, it was at Mercedes at 76. 47, 34, yes, so it's got a very, very good service history to it. I'm mentioning the gaps between services because some people service them every 20 or 30,000 k's, which, which is not a good thing. They need to be serviced regularly. Okay, so here's the most recent receipt for $11,000, which included brakes, service, I think there was a couple of rear struts, rear brake pads, front brake pads, rotors, etc. 
So this is the car which has had all its money spent on it. Sometimes when cars are traded, it's because they're due for a service, they're due for rego, due for tyres. This is not one of those cars. So if you've been looking for a, a four-wheel drive, you really can't go past one of these. We think it's absolutely gorgeous. It does have Xenon lights also. Automatic lights, automatic wipers. It is a V8 Mercedes-Benz after all. And it is registered until the 1st of August, actually, 2015. So it does have plenty of rego. And as I mentioned, the tyres have plenty of tread on them also.